Okay, we have successfully uploaded the project template that I provided to Overleaf. You can see the files are here available. This is mainly this article final tech file. This is the final solution. This is what we want to write down now uh, in the next minutes. And we have an empty file article text. This is where we want to write in. Uh, Overleaf has already compiled the complete file and you can see the result here. So this is where we want to uh, end with. So full file with abstract title, a few sections, a few equations, a table, a um, few plots, proper table and references. And we have also two figures, a box plot and a picture of Einstein and a library that is all contained in this folder. For article title, you can see already here the outline. So this is basically just a summary of the different sections that are typed in this, in this figure. Um, if I go to article text, this is gone because we have typed nothing yet. So this is an empty tag file. And uh, the points here, uh, these are just comments for you. So a comment in LaTeX is started with the percentage sign, so all this is ignored by LaTeX, so this is basically identical from the LaTeX side uh, to an empty file. Let's start um, this file, and so every LaTeX um, file needs in the beginning particular information, and this is the document, document class. So I will write here article. And this tells LaTeX that the final document should be typeset as a scientific article. There's other document classes that you could provide. So for example, a book. And if you tell it um, that this should be a book, it will produce a different type of uh, typesetting. So for a book, for example, the right and left margins are uh, set differently. So that if you would bind it together as a book, you would have an inner and an outer margin. But for an article, um, the even and the odd numbered pages are the same. So the margins are always staying the same. Yeah, we could see, um, now I'm in this document. And uh, so I was trying to compile this and see if it already works, but it tells me correctly as it should. I made an error. So just to tell that this is a document class article and then typing something doesn't work. Another thing that every article needs is a begin. Um, in uh, document and then an end document. Uh, so similar to what we would uh, what we saw in our studio, when you write something, um, LaTeX or Overleaf in this case is recommending uh, certain autocomplete options to you. And here it recommended uh, to me when I started to type document the begin and document uh, section, and this is what I chose. And if I go to recompile here, I now see a nearly empty page with a few letters that are typed here. Okay, this is the minimum what you need for, um, for working in LaTeX, and I could start writing now. So I can write, this is my first sentence. Sentence. This is my second sentence. This is my second paragraph. This is the second sentence of the second paragraph. Yeah, typos. Uh, if I recompile you um, see that this is compiled. Um, maybe I should add some more words here so that you can see the line break. I should add some more text here and some more text again. Let's see if this is enough. Click on recompile here. Okay. And so you see that by default, if you have a new paragraph, what LaTeX is doing, it is um, 
yeah, increasing the intent here for of the of the second paragraph. So right here, you can see that new paragraphs are by default um, indented. There is no line break. You could change this by hand. For example, by typing something like this, test. So these uh, double backward slashes, they would uh, produce a line break. And so two would produce two line breaks. You can also add some um, distance here by saying, for example, 0 0.5 centimeters. This would put it a little bit further down. So you can do this. That being said, you should not do, or let's write it like this, you should not play with the layout, however, if you are using lay, let's write directly lay tech. The whole point is that you let the document class make these decisions for you. Recompile. Okay, so one of the mistakes you could do in LaTeX is now trying to play around with these defaults and say, I don't like this type of paragraph style, I will um, add some extra space after each paragraph and all this, and maybe you don't like the figure placing and all this. The whole point of LaTeX, however, is that you provide a document class, and this document class, or maybe some um, yeah, extensions of this, will tell the LaTeX system how this is to be typeset, which font to use, which font size to use for different sections, and um, and you should not play around with this in the document itself. If you want to change this change document class, but for us here now we will stay in the standard document class, which is article, and we will will just use all the defaults of LaTeX. So the whole point is, don't you don't want to think about the, how it looks like in the end about the typesetting. We will just concentrate on the text. So we will tell the computer what we want to do. We want to have a paragraph here. This is clear now. We have made a paragraph and uh, now we will go on. Uh, every document needs a little bit of structure and we will introduce some structure now. And I will call this first section introduction. And uh, maybe we want to have a second section already that I will call doing, I will just call it equations. I'll this again. And you will see it introduces first section introduction, second section equations. And before we come to the equations, we want to add a little bit of more um, nuance to our first section. So maybe sometimes you want to write something in bold. And so you could do this, for example, by using the command text and df. All the commands in LaTeX always start with this um, backward slash, and then they, uh, they go into curly brackets here. So if I do this, this will typeset in bold. 
And uh, there is another uh, similar command. This is emph for emphasis. Um, this will put the second part in italics. Uh, you can also explicitly tell that the text is uh, in italics. But emphasis is basically also something that can be decided on by the document class, how it's interpreted. So it could be italics, but it could be additionally underlined. So typically, these are the two things you will use, important things in bold, and then um, things you want to emphasize in italics, uh, in, in, with emphasis, and then the document class will decide whether it should be italics or something else. Yeah, now we have already a slightly like an yeah, article-looking document, but we miss a few things. So nearly every article, I guess, has a title and also an author. And before we go on, we should um, add this. So I will add an author. Um, early bracket. All right, Florian Hartig. And I will write a title. At my first, I will again lose the, use this LaTeX command. Uh, this is just a fancy thing to let the LaTeX appear in this um, yeah in this uh, special type setting. My first LaTeX um, document. Okay, if you compile this, nothing will happen because this is basically just meta information that is provided to LaTeX. You see that it's be provided before the begin document. So if you want to have a title to be drawn, you have to add here in the title. Then we see this. Uh, you see here the, the date is included automatically. You can, however, override this if you want uh, by using the date command here. But I would recommend for the moment to just keep it on the current date. By this, we see when the document was actually compiled. Yeah, and the final thing that I wanted to introduce structurally is an abstract. It's also so that many documents have an abstract. And you, the abstract is introduced by, again, um, a begin and end. Uh, so let me write here. In abstract, end abstract, you see Overleaf is auto-completing this again. And so I can write here, this document provides a first introduction into the lay tech type setting system. I will introduce all basic elements that are necessary to write a scientific article. Click on recompile again and you will see the abstract appear here. Uh, something that uh, I have not mentioned before, but every time you clicked on compile, the document is newly created, uh, but also it creates here a log file that you can look at. And sometimes this log file has additional warnings. So here this under full H box, we'll maybe talk about this a little bit more, but for the moment, um, yeah, we'll just stay with the, with the normal output. Okay, so you see we have a title, um, an author, an abstract, and we know how to do sections. And so we could uh, write down our document. Maybe one final structural element that we would like to introduce and that is uh, often uh, used would be um, a table. the table of contents. It doesn't auto-complete this, but it's still the right command. 
So if you if you provide this, it will uh, LaTeX will produce a table of content for your section so far. In a scientific article, you would usually not do this, of course, but for a master thesis or a book, this is useful. And just so that you see the full um, yeah, capabilities of LaTeX, we will keep this like this. So I will stop here and we'll go to the next video or you can go to the next video immediately where we'll speak about how to add equations to this.